In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create hanging timeline slide in PowerPoint and this is how the slide works when I click. You can see a one string or a thread comes and a first option comes the year 2005. I have created this oval shape along with the icon and the title and bottom you can see the detailed text here. When I click it will show the next year 2009 the same information then 2013, 2017 and 2021 so depending on your requirement you can increase or decrease the years and if you have not subscribed to my channel powerpoint university please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon you can join my telegram group with the help of this link i have used office 2019 version to do this if you are using the older version then some features may not be available so let's start the tutorial Add a new slide and change the background to any gradient fill background. For that right mouse click, go to format background and click on the gradient fill. I have used before that the reason is coming here. I have used two gradient stops and the type I have used radial and the direction from the center. So based on your requirement, you can just change the color according to your need. So once this is done, I'm going to draw a string here or a line for that go to insert shapes and from the lines I'm going to choose this is the curve line so start from here click here once you can see here again click here you can just you have to make it up and down depending on your requirement so you can see here I'm just going to make this is somewhat up again somewhat down and then at the end it is going towards the end and double click and shape outline make it white color now if you want to edit it according to your need right mouse click go to edit points and then if you want to drag this down you can see here if you don't want this one you can right click and delete this point and again select this one and make it up something like this you can see here so depending on your requirement you can just adjust it or if you want to give more space you can give something like this all right so i would like to move it this one here you can see here like this i would like to do so i'm just showing you the flexibility you can use with this okay so once this design is ready what you can do is you can add the the circles for that go to insert shapes from the basic shapes i'm going to choose the oval shape draw the oval shape by holding the shift key you can see here maybe this much size and later on you can increase or decrease the size not a problem with that one shape outline make it no outline shape fill make it white press ctrl d to duplicate it and for the later use i'm going to use it and here i'm going to add one hole into this one so go to insert shapes you can see here a small oval shape i'm going to draw it exactly in the top center okay let me just zoom in you can see here you need to make sure that you have to put it in the center if you are not sure select both these shapes align and center if see if i do like this and do it here align center it comes to the center okay then go to the merge shapes and subtract this one first select this and this merge shape subtract so there is a hole has been created all right and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to give one uh, kind of uh, border here okay a different color border for that what i'm going to do is i'm just going to add one more press ctrl d to duplicate this one and this size i'm going to increase it a little bit you can see here you can hold the shift ctrl shift key and increase the size and give some different color and then bring this here exactly and send this to back and then i'm going to align this one make sure that it is align center align middle and then i'm going to cut the white part so select this one and hold the shift key select this merge shape and subtract and bring it here so you can see here this shape has come like this now select all these shapes of the circle press ctrl g to group it so i'm just going to put it one here press ctrl d to duplicate hold the shift key if you want to reduce the size you can reduce the size like this press ctrl d again if you want to increase it you can add one more here ctrl d again reduce it and ctrl d you can increase the size for this all right so you can see here i have created 
five uh, circles and then depending on your requirement you can just change the color according to your need so i'm just going to change it let me just select this one and i'm going to change maybe to blue and this one i can change it to could be orange and this could be some other color maybe pink all right so once this is done what i'm going to do is i'm going to join uh, these circles uh, with the help of a thread on this particular string okay for that go to insert shapes and from the lines i'm going to select this curve line let me just zoom in how i'm going to do you can see here let me just see click here once again click here once click here and stop it here okay shape outline make it white and i'm going to add one more again same a curve outline and then i can join it here you can see here i can make it double click and same here and then send this to back you can see here it looks something like this so you can see here i have done something like this now it's easy for me i'm just going to select both of these uh, shapes okay by holding the shift key press ctrl d to duplicate and bring it here so let me just put it here and later on we can adjust it according to our need all right press ctrl d bring this one here ctrl d again here as well as for the last one all right so once this is done what i'm going to do is i'm going to adjust this one so we have to adjust this one by one okay you can see here this is not properly aligned something is okay you can see something like this so first of all i'm going to select this one right mouse click edit point and drag this down and this one again right mouse click edit points drag this down and send this to back so you can see here it looks like this so again i'm coming to the third one again you can see here again right mouse click edit points drag this down and this also edit points and drag this down okay so this is the third one let me just go to the fourth one i think this is the fifth one i tried i believe let me just do for this part yeah right mouse click edit points drag this down and again edit point drag this one here send this to back and then one more left which is the fourth one i think fourth one is okay and fifth one is also okay right so we have done with this now what we need to do is we need to add some icons to it go to insert icons and just uh, choose any icons depending on your requirement i'm just going to choose some random icons some five icons i have selected uh, size i'm going to make it as 0.5 and graphic fill you can use maybe some gray color and start putting one by one here you can see here maybe this one go here if it is not visible clearly you need to increase the i mean change the color of this for example let me just change it to more darker gray color or you can use black color also okay and then below you can add the title center align and bring it here press ctrl d to duplicate this title here ctrl d again you can see here like this you can do it and once this is done you can add some detailed text to it so here you can add some detailed text all right you can add some detailed text press ctrl d to duplicate ctrl d if space is not there you can add it at the side also or you can move this up also it's up to you ctrl d again like this okay so once this is done you can add some basic animation to it and if you like to add some animation you need to first of all group this one this shape all this shape you need to group it one by one okay maybe this is already grouped so this one this one and this one press ctrl g to group it like this okay 
again this 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 control G to group it and sometimes if this comes at the front you need to change it to back side okay control G so let me just group it one by one so then for the first one I'm going to animations enable the animation pane add animation maybe we can use the fly in so it comes something like this and then this part I'm going to give a wipe effect wipe effect this should come after previous and the the right string I'm going to give again the wipe effect so instead of bottom it should come from top and that should happen after previous so if I play it comes something like this you can see here and then you can add the some animation like appear animation that should come after previous so the same thing you can simply copy and click the animation painter click it here likewise you can just copy the animation one by one to all the options okay you can see here and then this also so if I play so this is the first option comes then this is the second option likewise you can do the same animation effect to the rest of the options